I really don't quite understand everything that's happening here. What he's doing is like a foreign language to me right now. He got involved in this in school last year. The school that he attends has a uh, terminal. And the next thing I know, he, he was obsessed with uh, the operation of computers, designing programs. And for the last uh, eight months, uh, this is what he's been doing. We're in the process of saving money for a computer, I guess. I think. I think you ought to ask Jay. I, I really don't know what, you know. I, I, I know what he's doing, and I know the games that he's programming and designing. But how he's doing it, I haven't the faintest idea. The mental processes that he goes through to, to get that on the screen, I can't even begin to uh, compute in my own mind. Jeff? Yeah. Go ahead, Jay. Can you fill me in on what we're seeing or not seeing? I'm not quite sure I can tell you what you're seeing or not seeing. Uh, well, is he exceptional, or are there other kids like him? There are, uh, where he goes to school, several other uh, kids his age who are involved actively in computers, with computers, going to college. And uh, I would say that he's exceptional on the standpoint of, uh, you know, of the kids in the school system, there are maybe 20 that are capable of doing this out of several thousand, but uh, there are more, more and more are getting involved in it, and, and uh, it's really becoming uh, quite, I think, quite a positive influence on their lives. I hope it is, at least. Uh, you know, where he is now, I can't imagine where he'll be five years from now, or where someone his age will be five years from now. It's just, just amazing. How does that make you feel that you can't speak your son's language? Well, I'm sure going to get a few books and try and learn, and, and maybe uh, maybe he'll teach me a little bit. But, uh, so far, he's into it uh, to the degree, and, and I'm wrapped up in what I'm doing that I just don't have the time to sit down. To certain kids, and the kids that, that I've seen that are involved in computers, this comes ex very naturally, and it's like... Um, it's just like learning how to walk. They, they just pick it up naturally. For adults and for many other kids, it's, uh, it's just a separate language and, and it's like Chinese. So, I don't know what else to say. Well, I started out in school and all we really did is like, we had a terminal in our room and we did math on it. And then some of the kids started to like go through it and they were going through different things that I never knew about and they'd find programs, other games, and we'd start to play games with them. And, you know, it kind of got boring just playing the same game over and over. So one of our teachers came out and she was, she taught computers in, at a college, I think. And she started to teach us just really easy parts of the computers. And so after that, my teacher audited a course for me, and I went to college. And it How got, old are you? I'm 12. It got really serious because we had to take finals and tests. And after that, I guess I was I had money, and I was looking into different computers, and I found the computer that I wanted. I've been writing a program for a company trying to sell it. And it's not, it hasn't been done. And in Cedar Rapids, there aren't many people and many computers around. So, I, you know, when I was here, I just called up and asked if I could use one of the computers and finish up my program, and I did. And right now, it's almost finished. There's still a couple errors. My parents have been talking with different people about, you know, is he capable of using the computer the right way? And I think my dad, you know, he, just wants me to have the computer, but right now I've been, you know, oh, just come on, buy me a computer, it's no big deal. But I think I'm just gonna have to wait till next year and just keep using other computers. 
I, I can't help but think that this is going to help develop his thought processes. I, I see the way he thinks. We can watch it on the screen. Uh, I think that uh, it can only be a positive influence. Uh, and I, I just, I'm really very high on these things. I, n I never really thought about it before until he got involved in them, but uh, the more I see of them, the more positive I get. Uh, who knows, I might turn into a computer fiend at some point. I don't know that I have the, uh, the training or the intellect at this point to even understand this stuff. But maybe they do. You know, maybe they haven't been garbaged up with, uh, with, uh, with all the preconceptions that, that I have at this point. And, and uh, we're starting with a, with a blank page here. And, and uh, you know, who knows what we can build with this type of training. If uh, these disappeared tomorrow, he would do just fine. Uh, he's very goal-oriented, and he's pretty much set his goals for his future at 12. And, uh, and I think he'll do it, with or without the computer. The computer can help, but he'll do it by himself. Um, what do you do? I'm a salesman. Uh, so uh, I have 40 accounts. Uh, I do a, a large volume of, of business and I, I need information, and uh, my company provides me with the information via computer. And as, uh, as a matter of fact, in conjunction with what Jay is doing, probably within the next several months, I'll be receiving a different kind of computer through my company that I can actually carry with me on the road. Uh, as a matter of fact, they have the system here. It's the first time I've seen it, and it's quite interesting. Uh, it's about the size of a typewriter and I can get information directly at that point. Uh, I think it's phenomenal. Uh, frequently the future is looked at as being a, being a very mechanical, machine-like thing with the robots and people who are like robots. Do you have any fears about the, the future and your son in that regard? No, no, no Tell me whatsoever. I, describe I, that. I, I, don't, I don't think. I think that, that the human being, the human species will always control machines. I can never see machines taking over. As long as there's someone to sit that has to sit and push the buttons and input the information, and uh, someone who has emotions and feelings, uh, machines will never take over. I might be wrong, you know. Uh, if they can design a machine with emotions, then that's a whole different story. But, uh, machines can't procreate either, can they? So uh, I don't think there's a problem. I really don't. Well, the volume was mismatched, but also you had a situation where you had some pointers set in the machine that would not allow you to load, and you would have needed a uh, do the ultimate reset, turn the machine off, and turn so it back on again. Okay, it, it works. It's okay. just that it, there's two. Okay. Five years ago, I, uh, I would have uh, thought of a computer as something that you found in a giant building, a uh, giant IBM business computer. I would never believe that they could have gotten this compact uh, ever. Uh, I think it's more in turn, it's just unbelievable, quite frankly, what they've done. And what's really exciting is if this is what they've done in, in your time frame of five years, what's going to happen five years from now? What is this going to be five years from now? And what are kids like? him going to be doing five years from now. That's, uh, that's really exciting.